Capitec proudly sponsors this program. Rethink Credit. Realize dreams. Capitec. Africa and welcome to the live grand finale of Winner Home Season 5 right here on SABC3. My name is Tabiso Makubela. Indeed, and I'm Danilo Aquisto. And I cannot believe the moment has finally arrived, South Africa. Yes. Uh, in the room with us tonight are six finalists from the thousands upon thousands of South Africans who voted on privateproperty.co.za. Mm. And tonight, one of them will walk away with the largest prize on South African television, their choice of one of the apartments completed by our design duos at the Part of Lay Lifestyle Estate in Somerset West, developed by Bowen Properties, a prize with more than three million rand. That deserves a round of Applause, ladies and gentlemen. Yes. We're super Come excited for it. <laughs> Plus, our three design duos are here as well, and they've been through it all over the past 13 weeks. And today, one duo will receive a check for 100,000 Rand as the judge's choice. Oh, that's not all. Your votes on the private property website have been counted, and the design duo who captured the hearts of the public will win a further 20,000 Rand as the viewer's choice. So, we could have two winners today, or one design duo might even walk away with a full 120,000 Rand. Mm. The excitement is real. Now, South Africa has kept a close eye on the journey of our design duos as they transformed identical white box apartments into the beautifully furnished designer homes that they now are. None of which would have been possible without the breathtaking estate that hosted this season of Winner Home. The spectacular Part of Lay Lifestyle Estate by Baldwin Properties has won two international property awards and it's easy to see why. No wonder it's such a passion project for Baldwin CEO, Steve Brooks. Part of Lay in Somerset West was a deep vision of mine. AECI first owned the land. We bought the first piece of land from them six years ago. The Part of Lay precinct has got deep history. I love the historic aspect of this development. I really believe in this area. The estate has a variety of property offerings to suit everyone. Freestanding homes range from lovingly restored heritage houses designed by Sir Herbert Baker to modern duplex units, each with a private garden and swimming pool. For this season, our design duos decorated three top floor penthouse apartments that not only offer stunning views over the Strand Golf Course and the majestic mountain ranges, but have easy access to the nearby clubhouse, boasting a restaurant with wood-fired pizza, as well as a gym fitted with the latest high-tech exercise equipment. From the Bourne perspective, we love our apartments. So it was quite unusual to think that people were gonna come in and change our product. I was a bit nervous at first, but all it has done is shown innovation, new ideas, and some creativity. There's a big trend in South Africa at the moment, moving towards security estates in beautiful locations, and Part of Lay fits that description perfectly. Apart from being a stone's throw away from many beautiful wine farms, the estate is situated adjacent to the breathtaking Flay, teeming with bird life. It's also directly across the road from two convenient shopping malls and less than five minutes from the family-friendly Strand Beach with its refreshing warm waters. Part of Lay Lifestyle Estate. Truly rich in history and natural beauty. Man, I'm really going to miss my regular visits to that place. And I always felt so at home on the estate, spending time with the design duos throughout their journey. And I'm sure they're going to miss that place as well, and including my little horn moments. They'll miss those too. <laughs> Who wouldn't? Who yeah, wouldn't? exactly. And if you guys are going to miss part of Flay Lifestyle Estate, then use the hashtag WinnerHome throughout the show today. Let's get that hashtag trending today for the finale. Mm. But now that they've completed their apartments, our design duos, they finally had the chance to chill out and take a look back on their journey. It's so lovely to have the girls around the table with us while we reminisce and share a glass and just chat about all the good times we've gone through here in the show. We're so fortunate to live in such a beautiful city and like just to be able to kind of get back out there again and do a few things around and... Some leisure time, you know? I mean, we love interior design, but the cool hobbies that like we didn't have time to do, now we can do it. 
looking back at the competition, it's so insane what we've achieved in like three months. Yeah, dropped in the deep end. You got two weeks to go, two bedrooms. That first challenge, it was really hectic. Two bedrooms to do. We're not gonna have it today. For our glam room, we had a protruding shelf that we had in mind, um, but last minute, that shelf did not arrive. And but, the shelf supposed to be there? Yeah, it was supposed to go over here, and um, he's not answering his phone. Wow, that first challenge, like, we really did go all the way with all the ideas, and yeah, our multifunctional activities room. Whew. <laughs> Something different. Wait, that looks like a fault, right? Yeah. Nothing's too ambitious for the permit views, though. <laughs> This goes to show how, how tight the, the deadlines are and like you come across something like, like when the cupboard doors didn't close, something like that. It wasn't a crucial, but at the time there was no way we were going to be able to correct that before the judges came. And for this round it's a tie and there will be two winners. To kind of win the first challenge like right from the offset, that was great to kind of get us into the swing of things, kind of reaffirm where we're going. The second winning team is Team RNK! <laughs> Yay! No, no, it was a bittersweet moment. <laughs> it really was. Yeah. I mean, you win. But not really. But not really. Because you're sharing. Ah, oh, that bathroom challenge. 2,000 tiles up the stairs. It felt like 2,000 <laughs> stairs. <laughs> it was a bit much. But we did it. And it was worth it. It was really worth it for sure. Completely. I mean, the way that it's carried throughout our space, it's great. We decided to do two different personalities. Mm -hmm. Oh my goodness. Looking back, mm -mm. we were a little too ambitious, honestly. <laughs> <laughs> and then from nowhere, like an angel, Kogeta came flying with a box of pizza. <laughs> yum, yum, yum. There I am painting. It was just amazing. The bathroom is like an intricate kind of design where you have to think about all the little things and one thing we didn't foresee is using those small tiles. Because those tiles come as a mosaic in a sheet and they're like a stagger bond but changing that to try and get a vertical bond it was a crucial design element for us but it really was taxing in applying it. Yo, it's not. Team contrast control. After all those challenges in the bathroom, like winning that challenge meant so much to us. After the bathroom challenge, the master bedroom challenge was a welcome relief. So much better working on just one space. Deadline day, and Dan pops in. Oh goodness, the room was filled with so many men in there. Oh my word! <laughs> I know, right? Do you guys know it's an hour to go? I don't even know we were gonna finish. It was. Oh no, there was no light at the end of the tunnel. The collaborations throughout, I mean, were just such an integral part of the show and, and the whole experience. Yeah, Candice was great to work with. Yo, I drew the inside of that whole piece and she like actually coupled that well with her surround. The perma peeps. <laughs> Considering all the effort we went to in the other challenges, this was a welcomed win actually for us. <laughs> I think we've both created a bunch of kitchens and to kind of have an opportunity to do something a bit different. Mm -hmm. But yo, when that structure fell, <laughs> life, life happened. It's like an absolute miracle that nothing broke. That table was fun to make. Um, we had some leftover cements and just a few bits and pieces and some pot plants. So we decided DIY. Roma peeps, use what you have, do what you can. Stop and now. <laughs> we made something really pretty. One of the things we quickly learned about this competition is that the quicker you get innovative, the better. And I mean, using these pot plants as light fixtures, who would have thought? Team R and K. <laughs> For this to be the first time you designed a kitchen and having to win it. <laughs> to show how brilliant you are. Or can be. We always had to entertain that volume, but then to do something that was interactive and live that you can actually climb up and, and feel and have that touch point, it's, it's a ridiculous that thing. That wow factor. <laughs> When designing a space, you always need to consider the surrounding area. And I mean, we're in Somerset West after all. There is a very big sports and braai culture in this area. So you can't not incorporate a braai. It was the last time we actually got to get our hands dirty. And we knew there's no better time than now. Team R&K! <laughs> Team R&K! Team R&K! Yeah! <laughs> 
it's quite great to finally chill and relax with the Puma peeps. I mean, we formed friendships as much as we really want to win this competition. Success tastes better shared. Oh, and what success they've all managed to achieve in this competition. It's been long, it's been tiresome. It's been a journey for these duos, but they've all created such truly world-class design, none of which would have been possible without the incredible sponsors on the season of a Winner Home. For this season of Winner Home, each apartment was fitted with Samsung's cutting-edge technology, featuring seamless multiple device experience capability for a connected lifestyle. Samsung soundbar. So few wires bar. Yo, it's, it's such a small thing with so much power, like that dynamite comes in small packages. To ground their designs, each duo was supplied with real hardwood flooring courtesy of Oggy. The flooring is in and it is looking so good and it feels good and the whole apartment is just life. It's just been breathed into it, it's, it's wonderful. A home is not complete without beautiful surfaces. And thanks to Caesarstone and accredited fabricator Magma Surfaces, our duos were well covered. With Minetle, we're creating this three-piece modular coffee table. What's great about this table is that we are using Caesarstone again. And we're using one of the finishes that we've used in the kitchen. And it's great because it's an open space. We're so excited to see the final product. Storage space is crucial in any apartment. And for this season, the team from Cozy Home provided custom-designed cupboards for all the apartments. Why are you not freaking out about this thing? It is just, it. I'm telling you, yeah. these, these mechanisms that have been put in by Cozy Home, we're so grateful. Yeah. Like, That's really stunning. Without furniture, a designer space would be incomplete. And thanks to Valence, each room was fitted with high-quality pieces and homeware from their collection. We love to shop. Furniture shopping, here we come. Yes. Well, the other deer is better watch out because we definitely know how to furnish a shop. I'm not a shopaholic, but if it's furniture, I'm going crazy. The design duos also had access to smart paint from Durham, sandware and taps from Flush Bathrooms, and incredible temper beds from Venkasa. To all our sponsors, we say a big thank you. Oh, so much excitement. The excitement is bubbling over here in studio because tonight, one lucky finalist from our viewer competition will walk away with their choice of three apartments. All of that coming up later in the show. But after the break, we catch up with the design duos who are all here tonight. Search for a home on any device, anytime, anywhere. Private property, a home for everyone. Welcome back to the grand finale of Winner Home Season 5 live on SABC3. What an exciting journey it has been thus far and we're very excited to have all of our design duos with us in studio. It's been 13 weeks of late nights, stressful deadlines and of course world class cutting edge design. But here we are at the final stretch and we're joined by our three design duos, Team RNK, Team Contrast Control and the Perma Peeps. Guys. Can you believe it? We are officially here. Oh. I just want to quickly catch up with all three of you. Perma Peeps, we'll start with you. And this journey has been insane for both of you guys. What have been the big learnings? For us, I think the biggest learning that we've gone through is we've grown as individuals, as designers, and mm. as best friends. So. Yeah, no, I mean, you know, this experience, we've really found our niche and our specific design language. So we're very excited to be able to develop our own design language now, and we had such a great time. Love it. And then the viewers obviously at home are wanting to know, I mean, I've got to go through finales a couple of times now. This is the first time you guys are standing in this position. How are you feeling, Contrast Control? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Just don't, don't look too high, you know what I mean? No, definitely not. No, we're feeling great. Eh? It's, uh, I mean, the last four months has all led up to this moment. So yeah. it's really special for us to kind of be here and, and kind of engage again with everyone and just absorb it all it's yeah it's and amazing. i think we've like really achieved what we really wanted to achieve like in this yeah. whole competition and like it's just amazing to see that white box turn into like a dream you know yeah, you've left it all out there so whatever happens happens now you guys gave it your all <laughs> and finally team rnk um, your words of th and thoughts to your friends who you guys have made on this journey thus far what are your feelings at this stage we have a family. Mm. We're a tribe. The six of us have gone mm. through this journey together. Yes. 
and it couldn't have been better. It couldn't have been with any any other people, rather, in the country. And I mean, it's just been so amazing. We've learned so much from Perma Peeps in terms of like you know using greenery and plants. I mean, you guys have really like changed our idea of design. It has to be inclusive with nature and so forth. <laughs> with the boys, they're so bold, so brave. I mean, their use of color, their contrast. Mm -hmm. I mean, they stood so true to their name. Such amazing people. It's yeah. been great. And I really just want to say, well done, guys. We've come a really long way, and let's just go out there and conquer. Oh, nice. Oh, guys, guys, I love that. Does that mean you guys are all going to share the money, right? No. no. Oh, oh, oh. So it is a competition still. Yeah. All right. <laughs> Feeling the tension. Make sure you guys use the hashtag win a home. Share your thoughts for our design duos. Wish them luck on this journeys. They weren't alone out there on site. Apart from me nagging them all the time on deadline day, throughout the competition they received support and guidance from industry mentors and judges. For each challenge in this season of Winner Home, the design duos were allocated a mentor who doubled up as a guest judge for the round. First up, in the Double Spare Room Challenge, the duos were guided by a man who knows the Winner Home Challenge all too well. Season 3 design winner, Rudolf Jordan. I think you might be using too many materials here. You have timber slats, you have melamine, you have steel, you have carpets, you have upholstery. So just be cautious of how you're going to use it and make sure that you can carry that through, through the entire unit. For the Bathroom Challenge, mentorship was given by a respected interior designer, Karen Marsden. Just think about your wall finish, your paint finish. Not to use a matte colour, use something with a bit of texture, a bit of movement, and that just gives a little bit more interest to the bathroom space. Known for her bold use of colour and quirky style, interior designer Sarah Ord gave input for the Master Bedroom Challenge. Just bear in mind, obviously, what fabric you use for the headboard, yes. because different textures respond in different ways depending on what application, but I look forward to seeing the end result. With a wealth of experience to share, renowned architect and director of Arc Interiors, Mark Riley guided the kitchen challenge. I really like the concept that you haven't really created the kitchen as one element. You're kind of tying it through and you're considering it to be part of the whole room. And to wrap things up in the lounge and balcony challenge, acclaimed interior designer Carl Rue brought his expertise to the table. Consider changing the finishes a little bit, so maybe bringing in a couple of the other finishes on each table so that you blend some of the finishes from the kitchen into the living room. In the final judging, the three main judges were joined by a winner home legend. Design winner of season one and judge in season four, Donald Numalo. I'm looking for people who are hungry for this opportunity because I understand what that opportunity has done for me. I know I'm only judging for one episode, but I'm telling you, this is going to be a tough one. But the anchors of the panel were the main judges, Brian Courtney of Private Property, Steve Brooks, and then Slade Brooks of Baldwin Properties, and Butle Matole of Kabu Design Architects. What an amazing journey we've had thus far and a huge thank you to all of our judges and our mentors on the season of Winner Home. We are joined now by our main judges, Brian Courtney and Butle Matole. And unfortunately, we are one short tonight as Slade Brooks is at home with his wife who gave birth to their son yesterday. Let us have a round of applause for that. I just want to give them a huge congratulations to the entire Brooks family and we wish them all the best during this exciting new chapter in their lives. Perhaps we could have a youngest judge on Winner Home ever <laughs> next season, all right? <laughs> Judges, it's so good to have you both with us tonight. Butley, I'll let you start for a bit. This season of Winner Home has been the best in terms of design we've had thus far. What have been your feelings? I think it's really been phenomenal. Um, the jewels have done very well. And I think they've said it themselves. I've seen the growth and I've seen how they've synergized into one another. Um, and I think in terms of design, they've all grown, they've learned, they've learned how to conceptualize ideas and actually bring them to fruition. So it's been an awesome, awesome journey. Yeah, yeah. You would be the kind of person I'd love to have over at my house because I've seen also, there's some spice in you. Mm -hmm. mm, we love it. <laughs> Brian, talk me through your journey on Winner Home. It's the first time you've been a judge in this position. Obviously, you're new to private, private property as well and mm. everything just must have been an exciting journey of sensory overload. Absolutely, it was fantastic. I've had some design background, so to see what you guys have achieved has been phenomenal. Yeah. I think seeing young people come in and really just grow 
more than we could have imagined has been absolutely crazy. Also, just the energy, the energy mm. that the three of you as the three teams bring has been exciting to be a part of, so yeah. well done. It's awesome. This show gets to reveal and showcase the best that African design has to offer, absolutely. and it comes from designers like you guys that bring that to the fore. So judges, thank you so much for joining us here today. I'm excited to announce our winners, and thank you for your service on Winner Home on season five. It's time now to get our judges' final comments on each of the completed homes. So let's begin with Team r &K. In all honesty, what we have managed to achieve here in two words is ultimate sophistication. Of course, without forgetting practicality and function. Well, the client that we're designing for is someone who I really see as a well-traveled person. She loves cuisine, she loves gourmet, but she would definitely enjoy entertaining her guests here. Yeah, there was a lot of thought process and I just think I love the flow from the kitchen to the lounge. It's seamless and that's what we wanted to achieve. Don't forget to use the hashtag WinnerHome to share your thoughts and love for Team RNK. Judges, you've had the chance to stay in those apartments. We're dying for your final opinions. Butler, we'll start with you. Yes, I stayed in your unit. It was awesome. And one word I think I have is growth for Team RNK. Mm. I've really seen how they've started and struggled. I remember the bathroom challenge was like, ah, oh, what are we doing? And the end was really phenomenal. So well done. And it was super chic. So well done. Love Thank, it. You. Thank you. Brian. Ladies, I think you are glamorous, and that shows in your design. The way you've grown from your glamour room in the spare bedroom <laughs> right through to how you won the kitchen challenge, which was absolutely mind-blowing, we were very impressed. And we loved how you listened to the advice that was mm. given. You took on the mentor's suggestions, you listened to the judges, um, and we've seen incredible growth. So well done, well done. Absolutely, great yeah. advice and opinions from the judges. I'm just sad that the mannequin's gone. <laughs> Oh, Gracie, Gracie. May Grace rest in peace, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> Congratulations, you two. You did a phenomenal job on the season of Winner Home. May the best design duo win. It's time now to move on to our next team, Team Contrast Control. What we try to do with this whole space is pushing the boundaries as much as we can with such a compact space. And being contrast control, we try to mash up a lot of heritages and a lot of color and finishes and a lot of textures just to put them together and see how that all works out. We set out to challenge the boundaries and push different elements that shouldn't generally work together, but we're kind of forcing them to. And we just wanted to make the whole space very bespoke, but also keeping it local, you know? The boys, the men of Winner Home in season five. We'll start back with our judges again. Brian, let's start with you this time. Absolutely. I had the privilege of staying in your apartment, so that was amazing. I think from a private property point of view, what brings value to a home are kitchens and bathrooms. And you guys blew the lid off your bathrooms. I mm. think we were, we were blown away with the colors used and the bravery in your approach. Um, and you were true to your name, Contrast Control, with, with incredible, interesting colors, the way you brought it, and your own opinions brought together to make an incredible combination. So yeah, we really enjoyed seeing what you were gonna do each week. Stunning. Butle. Uh Fun, athletic, it was awesome. Mm. Uh, every week it was almost like, what is Team Contrast Control gonna <laughs> do this week, you know? And I think as designers, we gotta keep that going. You know, we gotta mm. always surprise our clients. We gotta be true to ourselves. And well done for being true to yourselves. Indeed. Congratulations to both of you. Amazing design uh, on the season of Winner Home. All right, that leaves us with only one more team. It's Team Perma Peeps. With this apartment, we put in a lot of consideration into incorporating different things that are needed within everyday functioning life. So we needed to focus on functionality, minimalism, permaculture. It's all about bringing the outside in as well, having a natural feel, warm. It's a space that you want to be in, a serene haven that you want to come and escape to from your daily life, like work, etc. Yeah, and a space where people really can feel good, can entertain, can have lots of family and friends over, and it's just a, a real feel-good space. Bringing the outdoors indoors. Judges, your thoughts for the Perma Peeps. Let's start with you, Bushley. Uh, it was green. It was awesome. I love that. And I think also, like um, I said to the other team, you really stay true to what you were. And I love the functionality of your units. You know, everything, I could see people living there and doing things, the extra bedroom, you know, somebody staying over. So well done. Brian. I think you created a haven, a real tranquil environment, obviously using a lot of plants and staying true to your your beliefs around ecosystems and, and creating a sustainable environment was beautiful. But um, that, that 
that master bedroom was a masterpiece, mm -hmm. and that's what I remember about you guys. Mm -hmm. Congratulations, Perma Peeps, on beautiful design for Winter Home Season 5. We're really proud of all the work that you've managed to achieve. Now, obviously, we've heard all the final comments from the judges. Have you shared yours? Do so right now. Hashtag win a home. All that's left is for us to announce the final judgment. The design duo who won the judges' choice for Winter Home Season 5 is... Sitting in this room somewhere, we'll announce them after the break. <laughs> Get credit for the right reasons. Up to 250,000 Rand based on your need. Capitech. Welcome back, South Africa. This is the grand finale of Winner Home Season 5. We are live on SABC3. Get that hashtag trending on Twitter, hashtag WinnAHome. It's the moment our design duos have been waiting and working for. Throughout the series, viewers have been voting for their favorite design duo on privateproperty.co.za, and it's time to reveal which duo came out on tops as the viewer's choice. In total, this season, the viewers voted more than 500,000 times. And joining me to reveal the viewers' choice winner is Head of Marketing at Capitec Banks, Busiso Kumalo. Please welcome to the stage, Sibu. Right, are you nervous? Nope. At all. <laughs> he gets to give away money. This man's excited. All right. The money man. When I say so, would you please just uh, reveal that winner? But before I give you that privilege, would you like to just say a few words to our design team? Yeah, I just think, uh, well done. I think you put in a lot of work. We all respect the judges' opinions, but we know that the real judges are the viewers. Indeed. So this is the one that counts. Indeed. So we can confirm that the voting results have been tallied and verified by our auditors. The viewers' choice winning duo will, decide, uh, will be decided by the total number of valid entries. Just to make that clear in case the viewers wanted to know. Yeah. Sibu, are you ready to reveal this? Yep. In your time, my friend. And the winner for the viewers' choice is... Don't do this to us. Team Contrast. Contrast, Contrast. Congratulations, you guys. Take a step over here for me so we can all be able to see that. How are you guys feeling at this particular stage of the game? Amazing. Warm, warm, good. Very warm. <laughs> Warmer than you. Uh, thankful. Uh, you're you're wisely. wisely. And, and your beautiful uh, mentor and like sort of like, yeah, for this challenge. Please tell us more about how you're feeling. Give them a huge congrats. So happy for you guys. You guys definitely deserve it. Well done yeah. and congratulations. Hey, we made it. <laughs> <laughs> Magazine clients happy, she was happy and so are our duos. Amazing stuff. It's time to quickly have a look at the voting results. Let's take a look at those on screen. As you will see, Team Contrast Control owned 40% of viewer votes of those 500,000 votes that came through. Team RNK uh, obtaining 35% of those votes. And then the Perma Peeps coming in third with 25% of those 500,000 votes that came through on privateproperty.co.za. Big congratulations to Team Contrast Control, our first winners today on this live finale of Winner Home. Oh, it's exciting. It's now time for the big one, ladies and gents. It's time to crown the design winners of season five of Winner Home as chosen by our judging panel. Along with the bragging rights, this duo will also go home with a cash prize of 100,000 Rand. Here to do the honours is one of the main judges and also the Chief Marketing Officer of Private Property, Brian Courtney. You have a tough job, my friend. It Final been, words. Final been. words to our duos before you reveal the winner. It was a hell of a deliberation. We, we sat for a long time and had many conversations. It ended up with conference calls because we couldn't make decisions in the boardroom. Um, it was stressful. And I'm, I'm privileged to speak on behalf of the three judges um, and privileged to have worked with some amazing guest judges who really understand the design industry. So you guys know that we've thought this through. Um, from Private Property's point of view, I want to thank you guys because what you have actually done is added value to those apartments. So Baldwin, as a developer, must be super happy because they know that you guys have shown South Africa how to add value to property. Um, and as people that sell property, that is what we'd love to see. So we would love to reward that. Give them a round of applause, ladies and gentlemen. Well That's done. amazing. Yeah, really cool. So, right, before you reveal this, can I just tell you that I obviously get the huge moment of that horn, which you guys hate. <laughs> this is his moment with the horn, Ooh. right? You get to hold okay. the tension. Do it. When you're so, ready, Brian. This is tough because the reality is, that you, of course, you all deserve 
you all deserve this. And it's so hard to, to split decisions. And we have, to, we have had to split hairs. And we know each of you have won different challenges, from kitchens to bedrooms to bathrooms. Um, but we had to make a decision on an overall concept, an overall execution. Um, and the first impression when you walk in a home and look through it and want to stay there. Um, so, without further ado, the grand winner and something that will help you launch your careers. I'm very proud and very impressed to announce the team that we felt has grown the most in the competition, Team RNK. So congratulations. Well done. Thank you. Such humble well spirits, Team R and K. Uh, Sumin, how are you Thank feeling you. about your duo being the winners of the judges' choice? I can't believe it. Girls, 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 you are fabulous. Who runs the world? Yeah. Right, Team R and K. How are you two feeling at this particular stage? Come on. Oh, amazing. I'm so grateful to God. So I'm grateful. He's been with us through the journey. Yeah. We're so grateful. Truly humble. I and cannot wait to God. see the results of what is going to do for both of your careers. Congratulations yeah. to both of you. Thank you. Thank you to Amazing. the judges. And Brian, oh thank gosh. you so much for turning that around for us thank and you. for revealing these winners. It was a very tough decision, as you could hear on Winner Home. We're joined now by a very special guest. So you guys can go and take your seats in the meantime. And I really appreciate your time here today. And our special guest is from the SABC. He's GM for Channels at the SABC, David Makubiane, to congratulate to all of our duos. So David, you must make your way to next to me over here. Share your thoughts with our duos. Oh, congratulations, guys. Um, well done to the winners, congratulations. I think that one of the things that I just want to say is that uh, we are very honored as SABC to obviously have, to have walked this journey with the show. Five years, but also this particular season that was filled with high quality, great uh, innovative designs. So congratulations guys, um, well done. And also SABC3, obviously that's where the stage was, where we celebrated this local design talent so um, well done I just have one more thing just before but before I mention it I also just want to say well done to Cadova that's behind the production I think they did a brilliant job and <laughs> the crew are always the biggest stars on any production you know yes. so well done guys and also the sponsors it would have not happened without the sponsors so thank you to everyone who supported and the sponsors but just before I go off, because of the standard and the high quality in this particular season, no, nobody is going to go home empty-handed. What? So, yeah. So the team that didn't win, uh, Palmer Peeps, 10,000 Rand. Yeah. <laughs> Oh man, thank you so much for that announcement. There's all surprises and it's all right here live on SABC3. A big thank you for coming to join us here thank today you. and for sharing those words and for that extra prize added to the Perma Peeps. You guys all did an amazing job. Please give them another round of applause, ladies and gentlemen. Wow. South Africa, keep that hashtag rolling, hashtag winner home. So many winners today, and we still have to give away a brand new home worth 3 million rand. After the break, our finalists take one step closer to winning a dream home. You don't want to miss it. Start your laundry cycle remotely when you're not at home and add in forgotten clothing at any time using the Samsung AdWash washing machine. Live a seamlessly connected life with the Samsung SmartThings app. Welcome back to you. Winner Home, live and direct on SABC3. Now, okay, it's time to find out which of our six viewer contestants or finalists will become the new owner of their choice of one of three apartments completed by our design duos at Potterflay Lifestyle Estate in Somerset West, developed by Borwin Properties worth more than three million rand. Now, each of them was randomly selected from the total pool of valid entries uh, throughout this year, obviously, uh, season. And we received the most entries across all 
all the seasons. How amazing. Give that a round of applause, ladies Woo. and gents. That's really cool. Now, beside yeah. me in the studio right now yeah. are six color-coded plinths, right? Placed on top of them are six identical safes. One of these safes holds a key, which was placed there by our independent attorney. To reiterate, the attorney is the only person who knows where this key is placed. Where's the Lucky attorney? lady, yeah. <laughs> the finalist who unlocks the safe containing the key will win their choice of one of the three homes decorated by our design duos. Mm. This is where these plinths are, and right next to me, over here, is our official winner home uh, prize machine, right? It's a fancy piece of technology, and each finalist will be allocated an identical game ball provided to them by our independent attorney, on which they will mark their initials. The balls will then be jumbled and run through the prize machine, falling into the slot at the bottom over there, each landing on a different colour. The colour obviously there represents the six plinths on which the safes are positioned. Mm. Once the prize machine has then determined what colour each ball has landed on, our finalists will stand at the corresponding safe. OK, so the next step is quite simple. The finalists will open their safe simultaneously, and the person who finds a key inside will be our winner for the year. And everyone... Uh, waiting in anticipation. Let's meet our finalists, all right? <laughs> um, Toko Fazo, Dorothy Kagisile Matabe. I live in Pretoria and I'm a stay-at-home mom. I live with my mommy and my daughter and my older sister. My passions are baking, doing charity work. I love being around kids. I've actually had to overcome a lot of hardships in life. I lost my older brother, who was my father figure. He acted like my dad. My Dorothy is this child who is loving, caring, and she's full of determination. My daughter, she has multiple allergies, which often cause her to have these episodes. Sometimes not being able to breathe properly. I had to just tone down everything. Couldn't go back to school, couldn't work, you know, because I had to look after her. I entered about seven or eight times. It was around half to six, you know, when I got the call. And that's when I found out that I could be winning a home. At first I thought it's a prank. <laughs> I just went crazy, I'm like, yeah! My name is Robert Malcolm Emsley. I'm 71 years old. I'm now retired. Currently live in George. For the most important people in my life are my family, my two daughters, two grandkids that we have, obviously my wife. I'm Wendy, I'm Bob's wife. We've been married for 46 years. My family is everything to me. Hobbies are uh, mainly involved in uh, rebuilding old motor vehicles. I uh, spend a lot of time messing around with an old Range Rover that I'm busy rebuilding. It's been a lot of fun. It's been expensive, but it's been rewarding. Really crazy about motorsport, motorcycle racing. Cannot stop watching anything to do with the Grand Prix and the motorcycle racing when it's on. Well, I got a call telling me that I was one of the six finalists. I was absolutely amazed because I've never won anything in my life or been involved with a competition like this before. I was absolutely floored. <laughs> If we won the home, it would be wonderful to move down to the Cape. We've got friends and family down that way. It would make a massive difference in our lives. My name is Razik Tape. I'm a BIM technician and I'm from Strand here in the Western Cape. I design back of house kitchens for restaurants, hotels, cooking schools, uh, fast food franchises, anything that's food service related. And if I do win, I can ensure you that I'm going to have a good look at that kitchen, make sure it's going to work for me or not. I started fishing about two years ago, seeing that I got the sea right here. I might as well just go for a walk and throw a couple of lines in. Hopefully I can, I can one day catch something I can eat. The most important people in my life are my family, my wife, Tharwa, my daughter, Anna, Yami, my son, and we just got a new one now about a month ago, and he's Isa. When I initially found out that Rosic was one of the finalists, I was like, what the heck? You must be kidding me. But we were quite surprised, but he's been entering like constantly every single day. Well, I'm the only breadwinner in the family, so if I do win, I mean, this will be massive uh, financial relief for myself and the family. I think what gets us through throughout tough times is that we try not to stress about money. Uh, we just, we hope and pray a lot uh, together. Whatever comes our way, we, we, we definitely just, we make it work. We, we just push through. 
My name is Lorraine Arnson. I'm retired. I now stay in White River, Mapumalanga. My grandchildren are my life. They keep me young. <laughs> I look after them. They bring me a lot of joy. I really hope that my grand wins, and if she does, I hope that I can go and visit her in the Cape, and then I can go fishing on the beaches in the Cape, which I haven't done in quite a while. The, the worst hardship, I think, was the loss of my husband, because we'd been married 45 years and had been going out for many years before that. Once you lose a partner like that, it's very difficult. For fun and to keep myself occupied, I paint. Painting is very relaxing, and I found that, especially when my husband passed away, it really helped me um, through that really difficult time. When they phoned me to say that I was one of the six finalists, I was very, very excited. It was like a mind-blowing experience. I entered every day from start to finish. I watched every episode, and I was determined that I was going to have a chance this time. My name is Ayanda Mdudu. I live in Pure Maritzburg. I'm a student at the Central University of Technology in Bloemfontein, studying electrical engineering. I'm studying it for my future because I see that at home we're struggling, so I had to choose a career path that has a bright future. I entered the winner home competition because I saw it as an opportunity to get my mom and myself a house of our own because we've been living with my aunt for like 18 years. I have a great relationship with my mother. We like going to church together, we like praying together and reading the Bible together. My mom is a pastor at a local church in Peter Maritzburg and I am in the choir at the church. When I got the call to tell me I was the finalist, I was super excited, I couldn't believe it. The first person I called was my mom. Wow, that was great to me because I couldn't possibly give her the home she would need to grow in. If we win the apartment, we'll probably move to Cape Town. It'll mean new beginnings, new challenges to face in life with me and my mom. It'll be a nice start to life. My name is Yvette Blachnert. I'm currently unemployed. I am from Dower Glen in the East Rand in Johannesburg. I was retrenched earlier this year in January. It's been an up and down year for me, but I feel blessed in a way of that I still have a roof over my head. I have my health, I have a partner, and I've got two adorable pups, which I love very much. They are my life. I love exercising a lot. I do power walking every day of my life. I prefer to do it in the neighborhood. This is a lovely neighborhood. Currently, we're staying in a studio that belongs to my partner's cousin. It's a very intimate studio. One day, I wanted to move back to the coast. And when I saw this competition, I thought, wow, this is everything I wanted ever. And I just entered not having the slightest idea that I would be one of the finalists. Actually, owning property, which is pet friendly, that's a big, big plus. The location is perfect and the apartment is beautiful. It will make all my dreams come true. Now that you've met them, let's get started. Our independent attorney is with me. I'd like, you to ask, I'd like to ask you to please go over and hand out one uncolored ball to each of our contestants. These are your game balls, contestants. I'd like you to take a look at them very carefully for me, please. And when you've all received your ball, could you please just confirm for me by nodding your head or giving me a thumbs up that you can confirm that all of your balls are identical in shape, weight and size. Right? Got that confirmed? Can I just get one last nod? Could you guys start writing your initials on those, please, for me? To reiterate, these game balls are identical in every single way. None of them have been weighted or altered to give an unfair advantage, as confirmed by our independent attorney. Now, with all of the balls marked, our attorney will now collect them from our design, well, from our contestants, calling them design duos. Uh, they are our finalists here tonight, and she'll collect those and bring them back to the side. All right? Remember that that, that name and initial you've written there will be the name that we'll be reading off the bottom of our game machine, the side. Thank you very much for doing that for us. Right, our last one. He's like, I want to write this thing 15 <laughs> times, they know my name. They better not forget my name. Right, are you ready to please place these inside our machine? 
I'm going to ask you to do those honors for me, please. Now, our attorney will place all the identical game balls into our winner home prize machine. This machine has been designed to completely randomize the order in which the balls will fall. I'm going to now ask our attorney to release the balls and to start the prize machine. Our balls are making their way down. They've all ended up on an individual color. And now that they've been there and made their way, I'm going to ask our attorney to read out the initials of the different colors, starting with purple. YB, purple. YB. Yvette, you can make your way to the purple plinth, please. AM, red. AM, red. Please make your way to the red one, Ayanda. BE, orange. BE, orange. It's uh, RE, but Robert, you can make your way to the orange one, that's correct, mm -hmm. there we go. RT, grey. RT to the grey plinth, please. Razik, good luck. LA, green. Lorraine, you're behind the green. TM, blue. And TM, all right. Dorothy, we hope you do well tonight. Please stand behind the blue plinth for me. So our finalists are officially standing ready. They've been assigned a color. They have now got a safe in front of them and all that's left to do is open those safes. Right, hands off please by your side. And when I call three, you'll open your safes. You will do that after this ad break. <laughs> <laughs> Don't take credit. Unexpected coming from a bank. But just think about it. Using credit to finance a flashy lifestyle to show that you've arrived won't help you live better. What's new today is old tomorrow, except for the debt that you still have to pay. But do take credit to renovate your home, buy a more reliable car, or pay for your children's education. If that's your goal, then Capitec will help you realize your dreams. Because living better starts when you get credit for the right reasons. Get credit for the right reasons. Up to 250,000 Rand based on your need. Capitec. If I had a seat, I'd be sitting on the edge of it. Welcome back to the live finale of Winner Home on SABC3. Uh, you can literally cut the tension with the knife as our finalists are standing ready to find out if luck is on their side. Mm, now, before the break, each finalist mocked uh, an identical game ball. These game balls were run through our Winner Home prize machine, this one behind me, which randomly allocated a specific color plinth to each finalist. Upon each plinth is a safe, and the only person who has had access to this particular safe is our independent attorney who placed a key inside only one of them. The key to a penthouse apartment fitted with amazing Samsung products for a connected lifestyle. Now we don't know which safe holds the key and we don't know which plinth might hold the winning safe. Indeed contestants it's time for you to do the absolute honors on my count. You will turn the key and open the safe that's inside but you will do that all at the same time. Are you ready? Would you please all place your hands without turning the key. Just place your hands on your key for now. Remember we've been waiting for. Would you please turn your keys in three, two, one, and open. Congratulations, Yvette! Yvette, come and join us. Join us over here. Oh I cannot believe it. I cannot believe it. Oh. All right. Congratulations, oh. Yvette. Thank you. Come and stand up with us. How are you feeling? Give it the words. Oh, I, I don't have words. I am absolutely. <laughs> uh, um, I'm feeling fantastic. Oh. I'm feeling fantastic. I don't have words. I am happy. Um, Euphoric, I'm everything. Oh. So to your employee who trained you at the beginning of the year, you are now a millionaire. Congratulations, oh. ladies and gentlemen. Oh. <laughs>
And it only happens with magic live on SABC3. Oh, and here to congratulate goodness. our prize winners is the Cape General Manager of Bowen Properties, Arman Burtis. Please come and join us. From the rest of us, have a good night and goodbye, South Africa. Good you want to say a few words, Arman, before yeah. I say goodbye? Uh, just from Bowen Properties, um, I would like to congratulate you. And, Thank you. you know, it's an ex extremely stunning home that you've just won. And, you know, part of Flay Lifestyle Estate is the jewel of Somerset West. And, you know, we at Baldwin Properties are extremely proud of that development. So, very well done to you. Thank Stunning. You very, ah, very much. Yvette, Putting congratulations. Putting back in Baldwin, right? Congratulations. Baldwin. Have a good night, South Africa. And thank you for tuning into the grand finale on SABC3. We'll see you next year. Well done. Never feel good production. Search for a home on any device, anytime, anywhere. Private property, a home for everyone.